Yeah, so I'm Glenn Williams, the, the proprietor of the Authentic Seacoast company and the, the founder of the businesses here in Guysboro. You know, I had a, uh, a good career in, uh, in Toronto in the, in the business community and I still actively engage in the business community there. I have several businesses in the private equity and aerospace area. Um, and while I was coming here in my summer holidays, uh, I spent the you know, months in July and August here, uh, discovered Guysboro and, and, uh, and so I fell in love with the place. Rather than join the madding crowd and find a second residence up in uh, the Muskokers or someplace, and you know, Nova Scotia looked like a pretty interesting place. So, uh, one morning, having my coffee in Toronto, reading the Globe and Mail, I came across an ad that uh, talked about a place in St. Francis Harbor, which isn't too far from here, and uh, you know, talked to the owner. And a week later, I was down visiting it and made him an offer, and that was 25 years ago. So, so the types of businesses that we've developed over the last eight years are really two kinds of businesses. Uh, one is a tourism hospitality business, which is represented by DeBar Manor Inn, the oldest inn in Nova Scotia, uh, built in 1837. And uh, the Rare Brew Pub and Eatery, our golf course, and uh, the Skipping Stone Cafe and Gallery. And those are uh, attractors uh, to the community and, and our tourism experiences. So I think what we're trying to do and capture here on the Authentic Seacoast is truly an authentic Nova Scotian experience. We have approximately 25 to 30 people uh, on uh, who are employees of Authentic Seacoast Company right now, and they do various things, uh, from the general manager to to uh, uh, assistant brewmaster to someone who's baking or someone who's uh, who's one of our executive chefs uh, to someone who's uh, a groundskeeper at our golf course or who is a uh, uh, the pro at our golf course uh, to an office to office management and uh, accounting. And it really is interesting in terms of uh, looking at the skills necessary to run a, a hospitality and tourism business. And as a, you know, what's so also interesting is the uh, the whole food manufacturing and, and, and beverage in, uh, manufacturing business. So I think that you know one can build a really interesting career in uh, the tourism industry as well as uh, using our strategy, which is in food and, and other manufacturing artisanal at the artisanal scales you can develop some really interesting uh, skills and uh, work experiences well as we grow from our 25 to 30 uh, full-time equivalent uh, people uh, over the next five years I hope that we'll see uh, something like 60 to 70 people working for the authentic seacoast and you know let's be honest we're a small business and uh, so 60 to 70 people may not sound a lot, but it's quite a bit in a community of three to 400. And you know, we are one of the largest private sector employers in the community, if not the largest. And uh, you know, so we are actively out looking for uh, folks who want to join the team, who have a great work ethic. They may not necessarily have a specific skill, uh, such as a brewmaster or a distiller or whatnot, but if they have the right gumption and the right work ethic and the have ethics and integrity and hard work, then you know we delighted to uh, uh, train folks. I think we've had a, a positive economic impact on uh, our local community. Secondly, I think we've had a, a positive social impact, and and I think we've helped put uh, Guysboro on the map. If, uh, you know, it wasn't on the map before. I think we've instilled a sense of civic pride that might otherwise not have not not existed. The product continues to improve all the time, and uh, for folks looking for that authentic Seacoast experience, this is the place. <laughs>